All right, we're here in Jimbo Cho to pick up some Gato magazines, issue number one through 74. So, brought some suitcases for the big haul. Dang, it's hot, hot, hot today. All right, I went over to Jimbo Cho to the homie shop over there to pick up Gato number one through 74. That's 74 issues of Gato and a bunch of other manga magazines. Um, let's take a look at what we have here. We got some Young Magazine, Kamimura covers. Got some Erotopia special issues. More Young Magazine and of course, Gato. More Gato, more Gato, and even more Gato. All right, let's take a look at what I got in more detail. All right, welcome back to another Japan Book Hunter. Brandon and I went on a mission to pick up 84 manga magazines, 74 of which are the whole run of Kamui Den by Shirato Sampei in Garo Magazine from 1964 to what, 1972? Something like that. So let's take a look at what I picked up while we're out on this haul. All right, so first off, number four, 1964, December. It's the first appearance of Kamui Den by Shirato Sampei. Of course, Shirato Sampei was one of the founders of monthly manga Gato, so much respect gotta love them and the early Gato didn't have that much in them they just really you know like later on you'd have like 20 artists 20 mangaka photographers artists illustrators and stuff in one issue of Gato. but in the beginning three maybe four if you're lucky or something like that but so this is kamui den one pretty thin compared to later issues which are a bit more stacked, you know? But they're trying it out. I don't know what this Junior Magazine stuff is, but uh, they called it a Junior Magazine in the beginning. There we go. Nothing better than 1960s and 70s magazine print, especially when it's color or single color. I mean, ninjas, samurai, you know, that's what Shirato Sampei is known for. Well, that and, you know, and like political commentary on the downtrodden and the abused, those abused by the shogunate or the daimyo. But man could draw some animals, dude. Rabbits, lynx, foxes, horses, birds. Dags. Aww, poor pup. Poor pup got it. We're not going to go through all of these, obviously. What I'm going to do is just kind of show you a little bit of number one, which we're doing right now. Lizards, grouse, chipmunks, man. Owls. It's got them all. But it's part of the world building. The movies do not lie. People were crucified here. I wonder if they, they got a little tip from the Romans. They're like, I heard about these Romans. They 
crucified people. Suasakae, more samurai action. Yeah, a little bit more romantic. Then Mizuki Shigeru, early Mizuki Shigeru. I mean, he was going from in the Kashihon rental book, rental manga era from the late 50s. So yeah, by 64, he was pretty well established. This one's just about cats. I believe he goes to a cave of cats. I've read this before in a Tonkabon. Kusunoki Shohei, also some samurai action. So that's what the first Kamui Den, the fourth issue of Garo looks like. Then let's take a look at some covers. This is a haul video, my friends, a Garo haul video. So it's kind of confusing. You'll see like number five or the month. Sometimes they skipped a month here and there. The only way to really tell what you got is to go by this little maru barn, like this little circled number right here. Three, four, and you just want to follow the circles. Some iconic covers. So this is my Kamui Den set. More compact than 74 issues of Garo, of course. And uh, I bought it for two reasons. One, standard Tonkobon size. You know, it's a little bit small. But uh, there we get all the animals from the opening. The opening chapter. Very accessible. Covers are, are so-so. But they all fit tightly in this nice little box set. Kamui Den, all 21 Tonko Bones. So this is my personal set. This is why I'm not keeping one through 74. All right, let's keep it going. I got these all in order, another iconic cover. Perspective is amazing there. This is the famous Mizuki Shigeru Hakaba no Kitaro cover. Sampei's like, it's my magazine. You know what? This month, Mizuki, you can have the cover. Lots of torture. In Kamui Den. Lots of death. Lots of oppression. And this is what made Kamui Den and Garo Magazine so popular with the, the student movements of the 1960s and early 70s was the anti-establishment vibe, the underground vibe, the messaging, the artist selection. Work to death. I used to feel worked to death. Now I actually look forward to my job. Because I'm here for you, my friends. Um, I'm going to split these all up into by year. I mean, it's it's so heavy to ship 74 issues to Gato. I mean, if I was going to sell this as a complete set, I don't know. I think it would be something like 800 plus shipping. Shipping would probably be another two, 250. 
USD to ship. Probably more accessible if I split it up by year, break them up into some sets. At the end, I got a little bit of other stuff, non-Gato stuff that I will show you. So if you're getting tired of Kamui Den, then uh, you can skip ahead to uh, some other manga magazines I picked up today. So on Wednesday, I went to the shop where they know me for many years and uh, they know I like Gato sets. So they had some set aside for me and I bought almost a hundred manga magazines, 74, 84, 94, 96 of which were Gato. I bought two other years, 1984, 1985, King Terry covers Yumura Teruhiko, Terry Johnson. Those are gone. Those disappeared so fast. Everyone loves some 80s Gato with King Terry on the cover. But I could only haul home like around 35. Brandon and I went back today and picked up an, the 74 Kamui Dens. Plus I got another 10 manga mags and one, nine manga mags and one manga. Now we're up to 1969. And then we got 70 and it ends in 71. Although I said 72 earlier. I am not a mathematician. I'm a bit of a historian. And I'm mostly a manga addict. God, some of these covers are just so good. You wouldn't believe how hot it is here. 36 every day this week even on the thunderstorm days. 36, my friends, what's that? It's like 97. I don't know what the humidity is. I'd say about 95% humidity. It's wild. Thought that if we hauled first thing in the morning when the shop opened at 10, that it would be an easier haul. Nah, it was hot, hot, hot. Makes me not want to haul books, but I do it just for you. Japan Book Hunter on Instagram is where I post the rare stuff that it's probably not going to get stocked on the website because it's just too hard to find. I mean, look at all those lines. Amazing. If I had more space, I'd just keep this whole set for myself, to be honest. But I have Kamui Den in a nice, nice, nice box set. I'll show, I'll show it to you after I show you these. All right, we're down to the last seven. This is the final run of Kamui Den. Then I'll show you some of the other manga magazines and the one Tonkobon that I picked up. And the shark, the shark is the end, sharks. All right, just a, as a little bonus, I also picked these up. I had enough, we brought two suitcases with us to Jimbocho where we went book hunting. Well, where my friends have a shop. And uh, I'm a sucker for Kamimura, Kazuo Kamimura, of course. Um, did tons of young comic covers and art books. I have some of the art books up on the website, japanbookhunter.com. But I found Ogon Machi, which is Golden Town. It's a great story. And I will probably keep, sell, keep. I'll probably keep this, but um, I did buy some manga magazines to restock up on the website. I'm always down for some young comic uh, issues with Kamimura on the cover. And then of course, depending on who's in them, but Kamimura is usually in them as well. Tatsumi Yoshihiro is in this one. Kamimura mo Yoshihiro more, I should say. <laughs> um, 
Kazuo Koike, of course, Lone Wolf and Cub. But that's not what's in, in here. It's a different story. God, the comics are so good. Comic for men. Um, special guest, Otomo Katsuhiro of Akira fame. A story called Hair. That's why I bought this one. I don't know if that's gonna go on the website or not. We'll have to see. Hirate Hiroshi, of course. And Ishii Takashi. Takashi Ishii, as you guys know, I'm a huge collector of. So anytime there's any Takashi Ishii in magazine form, I am going to buy it. Another one with the Furo Shoujo, like the bad girl by uh, Ishii Takashi. And then we have some Miyaya Kazuhiko in here. This is the Flesh Bomb, Flesh Bomb era. I mean, how can you not buy this? And how can I even sell it? Um, more Flesh Bomb, more Hirata Hiroshi, more Sasaki Masaru, which we're going to see another one of right here. Sasaki Masaru. This is uh, Love and Dreams. God, or Love and Dream. I guess we don't have to give it a plural. Amazing Erotopia special issue. Love it. I have like the big, thick, like square back boys. I have the whole set of those. And... Um, in my personal collection, so this one will be up for grabs. And then lead comic. This one I bought because it's rare and I don't know why else. I always like myself some Saito Taco little one shots. That's, you know, anything, any Saito Taco that is not, you know, Gogo -Go 13, right up my alley. All right, and that's everything that we picked up during our manga haul. Um, thank you, Brandon, for the help. I appreciate it. You're gonna be here full time soon, my brother. Appreciate it, man. And uh, yeah, japanbookhunter.com is where we sell our books. Also, Japan Book Hunter on Instagram, TikTok, and here on YouTube. And until next time, my fine friends, matane.